together. Oh my gosh, look at this. You need a little something to get you hepped up in the morning, don't you? Thought a little high school musical where we're all in this together. Oh, happy Wednesday. Yeah, are you ready? Okay, so here we are for computer science. Uh, we are ready to start thinking about your interactive card. So first thing I need you to do, get a piece of paper so that you can kind of sketch out an idea. I think the hardest thing to do is to plan something first before you dive into the technology and start creating. Sometimes that creates things that are a little too jumbled. And so today's assignment is literally to take maybe 10 minutes and sketch out what you think you want to do. Some of you were at the point where you started this already. Awesome sauce. Uh, some of you are still finishing up some things in lesson 12 and 13. Okay, do that and then think about this. All right, let me show you a few things in code.org so that you can see what some examples are. Okay, it's been so long, we may or may not have seen some of this. So take a look at this example over here. Oh, it's a little happy birthday card. It said, run the program a few times and ask yourself these questions. Now you're going to see this when I open up lesson 14, but I'm giving you a preview. Kind of watch what happens. Notice they have the words happy birthday on there. Looks like they've created some makeshift balloons. They probably did that with an ellipse. Okay, colored it in, put some sort of string underneath which is probably just a simple rectangle that's very very narrow they do have a sprite there see there's a present and then they put in some text down there that tells you what to do move the mouse keep shaking so you notice oh just like you were doing on that last one with the salt shaker this one all of a sudden seems to turn into a couple other sprites. You got the bicycle, you got the puppy. And I want you to think of this from a programmer's point of view. What is the bicycle doing? How did they program that? What is the puppy doing? How is it moving? What kind of properties are they having it uh, do or move? So as I look at the puppy, it is moving vertically. It also is moving horizontally ding dong x and y and i don't mean ding dong like you're ding i mean like doorbell woohoo <clears throat> and it's random that's why he looks like he's like perhaps gotten into one of your energy drinks that he shouldn't have the way he's bouncing all over the place okay so as you are going to start looking at and thinking about what you want to design here's what i want you to do on your piece of paper okay let me get my tablet so I can write easily on here. All right, for your card, I want you to start thinking about, well, what do I want on here? So you usually start with, do I want a certain kind of background? What do I want to have on there? Do I want a plain color? Do I want to pick some sort of pre-made background sprite that they've got? And sprite, remember, just means like a clip art that's pre-made. Or do you want to try to download something um, from uh images that you find out there on the great glorious internet. So do you want it plain? Do you want it somehow uh, some kind of sprite or pre-made type of thing? Um, you're going to have to have some text on there because we need to tell the user what to do. Are they going to click on something? Do they need to press arrow keys? Tell the user what to do. Uh, some of you like to use like the W, S, D, and A keys. Um, you can do whatever you want, uh, but you need to tell the user what to do. Otherwise, they're not going to know. Maybe it's just moving the mouse. Okay. Maybe it's the space bar. You decide what you want your user to do. And then I want you to think about, all right, what kind of sprites do I want to have in here? Do I want to have... Um, some of the clip art that's already preloaded in code.org. Do I want to go and grab some, uh, some stuff out on the internet, some images that I can maybe animate somehow? Okay. What do you want? I'm going to tell you, try to use at least three. And that doesn't have to get 
super fancy. If you recall that one I just showed you, it had um, the present and then it had a puppy and what else did it have there? Oh, a bicycle spinning, something like that. So, okay. Then you've got to think about what kind of movement that you want to have happen. Okay, so are you gonna move some horizontally? Do you want things to move vertically? Do you want things to, let's see, spin or rotate? Do you want things to <clears throat> move smoothly or randomly? Okay, these are kind of things I want you to think about. Okay, and then as far as conditional properties. Now, what do I mean when I say that? And I've got to try to get this to extend a little bit. So give me a moment. Here we go. All right, um, and then what? when I say conditionals, this is what's gonna happen depending on some kind of user input. So when they click, what do you want to have happen? Or when they press that space bar or wiggle the mouse, okay? This is where you're going to be planning out kind of an if and else statement and what kind of things you want to have happen, all right? Then on your paper, start thinking about drawing it out. Now, I have some props here that I've been thinking about. Um, because it's spring and it's getting nice out, I was thinking, well, you know how much I love hockey and the Minnesota Wild, but maybe I kind of want to start with some hockey or Minnesota Wild things and then have the user interact and then all of a sudden, woo, we turn to baseball and the twins, or maybe it's golf or softball or something like that, okay? And I'm going to kind of start sketching out and making a plan, all right, what kind of things am I going to need? I'm probably going to want to get some Minnesota Wild logos. Maybe I want to have like a stick and a puck. And when the puck gets hit or something like click and you hit the puck and then all of a sudden, boom, everything changes into baseball season or something like that. Now, the last cool thing is when I open up next time lesson 14 for you, uh, sound comes into play. Oh my gosh, they have preloaded all kinds of sound effects and different things that you are going to probably end up going down a rabbit hole to experiment with all of these. And next time I'll show you as we start laying things out, if you want to use sound, I will probably spend a whole day playing on just sound. Okay. It's really fun and I'm so excited. So enjoy today. Like I said, sketch some things out. I'm not going to have you turn anything in. I want you to have this piece of paper, though, and put it in a safe place. So as you build, you can use that as a reference point. Okay? <laughs> Good luck. And as always, may the force be with you.